coach said he was working on you with the squaring out on threes. Yeah. What does that? Uh, what do you guys do, do on that? Just. I mean, he just he kind of just tells me to like just you know keep my body straight, you know, because sometimes when I shoot like I twist a little bit, and that affects my percentage. So just keep my body straight. Have you seen that kind of paying off in practice when you do it correctly? Yeah, yeah I've been working on it. Um, and you know, I think I'm getting better at it. You, you know what these guys were like on the road last year in that first game against Cincinnati. What, what does it take to go on the road and have the toughness to win in an environment like that that you're going to face against Notre Dame? I mean, it, it takes a lot, man. You know, the whistle is probably not going to blow your way. Things most likely aren't going to go your way, and it's just how you respond. You know, we're gonna get punched in the face. I mean, it's gonna happen. It's, it's typical on the road. It's how we respond, make sure we stay together, and you know, just go from there, and then just kind of like just grind it out throughout the game, and try not to turn the ball over. With this being your first true road game, is Coach mentally preparing you guys? Absolutely, absolutely. We've been we've been at it all week. Um, you know, just preparing us for, for a battle is going to be a battle, so that's what he's been preaching to us. What do you do specifically in practice when you're just in a gym, no crowd, to prepare for a road crowd, road energy? I mean, it's hard to prepare for a road crowd when it's dead inside the gym, but I mean, things like just encouraging each other, um, making an emphasis to move on to the next play, just things like that. If you're, if you're able to do it in practice, uh, be able to translate to the game. What's it like when uh, I know Coach pulls you guys out pretty quickly whenever you guys make a mistake? What's that like as a player? Is that is that obviously he's trying to teach you something, but is it also can it rattle your confidence sometimes? No, nah, not at all. I mean, he doesn't pull you out and just sit you for the rest of the game. He right. pulls you out and he puts you back in like two, three minutes later. So, no, nah, not at all. And when, and when he pulls you guys out, a lot of you are sitting between Savino and Lewis. So are they kind of talking to you about what happened? Yeah, I mean, they just, they just you know, tell you what you probably should have did, uh, ask you what you was probably thinking, and just go from there. It's a learning experience. You and a few other guys on the team, you were here for the Notre Dame game last year. Obviously, it was a close game, uh, an intense game. What do you take away from that, even though different coaching staff, it's a different situation, but what did you learn from that? Um, let me see. Last year, I remember we was up a lot of points in the second half and we started, you know, kind of like taking our foot off the gas and they came back and Chris hit the buzzer beater and we ended up winning like that. But, I mean, what I learned from that game, me personally, was, you know, you can't take your foot off the gas in a college basketball game because nobody's ever going to stop playing. Anything else? Thanks, Prince. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate you. Chris, obviously you were here last year when you guys went to Cincinnati, your first road game, and actually started off pretty well, but then things kind of snowballed on you guys. Do you feel like you guys are better for that experience coming into your first road game this year? Yeah, or something? I'd say so. I think we're a little bit more experienced, and we understand it's going to be a hard to win on the road, so we're coming in with that knowledge, and I feel like the outcome should be better. Where do you, where do you see that more experience? More experience. Yeah, you said you see more experience. Where do you see it? Um, just we've got the guys back that were here uh, that went through that, and we had the coach that beat us. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Has he talked to you guys about the mental toughness aspect of what it's going to take this week? Yeah, we started um, practice today uh, talking about that, and you know what we're not going to get, what's going to happen, the atmosphere, all that good stuff. Being from the Midwest, is this? Is this kind of cool from you going kind of kind of back home? Are you gonna have more family there? Um, <clears throat> I think so. Um, all my family's pretty much moved to Texas. Oh, <laughs> nobody's out there, but I might have some uh, family come with me to come watch the game, so I'll have some support. Going back to that mental toughness, working on it this weekend. Yeah. Have you ever had a coach that worked on that before? Mental in toughness. Your career? Yeah, just yeah. That um, um, pretty much all my coaches before uh, realized that that was you know, a learning point for me. And it's always been an emphasis, uh, emphasis for me. Watching the games, it's clear that coach sometimes will pull you guys out pretty quickly for a mistake. What's that like as a player? Obviously, he's trying to teach a lesson, but can it rally your confidence too? Or how does that kind of play uh, with you? No, we all want to get better. Uh, you come out of game, you come out for a reason. Um, 
either you, you know, had did something wrong that it may coach you up on the sideline, or just match up somebody, you know, could get in there that's got a better matchup than you. So, um, you know, you get snatched, you come to the bench to learn. And it seems like a lot of you guys sit between Savino and Lewis for a minute or two, and they'll kind of talk to you about it. Yeah, uh, whoever the coaches are yeah. there, um, if they got something to say to you, you definitely sit down next to them. Um, because, you know, when they pull you out, it's for a reason. So, I uh, got this part real quick, you know, figure out what you did wrong, and next time you go in there, don't make the same mistake. You guys have had 10, uh, 10 games now. How do you feel the chemistry uh, is um, since the beginning of the season? Um, I feel it's picked up a little bit, but we still got a lot, a lot of ways to go, especially on defense. What do you think you've improved on the most uh, as a team? Point? As a team, yes. Um, I don't exactly know. Um, I still feel like we've got a long ways to go, um, and I feel like our defense still has holes in it, and um, I don't really know. I guess uh, we're playing more as a team than the first game, you know, moving the ball around, looking for each other. What have you felt you've improved on the most? Um, probably defensive, on the defensive side, uh, staying in front of the ball, perimeter defense, but I've got to make my health defense better. Have there been any national leaders that have stepped up in these past 10 games, just like player-wise? Player-wise? Um, Whether it's in practice or in games? I don't know. <laughs> some guys have had their nights uh, and some guys haven't. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is it different than, than last year? You you know you had Wilkes and Hans who would play a big chunk of minutes. Is, is the fluidity in roles uh, kind of changing your mindset this year? Is the fact that it can be one guy one night, one guy another, is that different? Well, uh, with a team aspect, you know, this could be one but one guy any night. Uh, we got we had guys last year that played a lot of minutes, but uh, there were nights that they weren't they weren't on, and other guys had to step up. Uh, that's just being a team. You gotta trust each other, and if your shot's not falling, somebody else as well. You said that there's still a lot of stuff to improve on, but rebounding has been pretty solid for this team. Yeah. Uh, what what is uh, Coach going and emphasize in, in practice with? That? Um, defensively, we've got to make sure we box out. Uh, we're trying to keep the team off the offensive boards. And on offense, uh, just get the ball on the rim. Everybody crashes besides the point guard, say Tiger or David. Everybody's crashing. So if you get on the rim, we've got people coming for it. Uh, and do the deflections help with that to, to uh, keep possession, gain possession? Um, deflections? You know, in, in, those, in those moments. You know, does, does that help out with rebounding? Uh, Deflections with rebounding, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> deflections have anything to do with rebounding. You rebound it once it goes off the rim. You can't get a deflection if somebody's getting a shot up. Anything else? Thanks, Chris. Thanks for sure. What's up, Tom? You went to, uh, you, you've been to Maui, obviously, already, but did you feel like this will be different uh, being kind of a true road environment on Saturday? Oh, yeah, for sure, because in Maui, you know, we had our fans versus their fans, but. We know going out there in the South Bend is going to be mainly Notre Dame fans, so we're excited for that. Are you nervous knowing this is your first true road game in college? Did, were you prepared at all last year um, by your teammates? I mean, last year on the road I traveled with the team, so I kind of saw the environment, like going up to Washington and um, at Oregon and things like that. So I wouldn't say I'm worried or nervous. I'm a bit anxious. I'm, I'm just ready to play already. Did you go to that Cincinnati game last year on the road? I did. Okay. I did. What did you take away from that? Um, <clears throat> As far as like being the away team, yeah. one, you can't turn the ball over, and two, it doesn't matter when you're out. I think we're out by like five or ten early in the game, yeah. and they called a timeout and just put it on us. So you just really have to play smart the whole game and uh, just take it play by play. Where do you feel like you guys have grown the most? You're ten games in now. Where do you feel like you guys have grown the most? Um, I feel like we keep getting closer as a team. You know, Obviously, you can say um, we're trying to get better on defense, but the main thing, like on defense, that we're focusing on is talking more and being more aware of what's going on in the court. Like, I might know what's going on, but that doesn't mean my teammate knows what's going on. So I got to relay to him. So we're both on the same page. Coaches can be quick at times with this pulling you guys out of games for mistakes. What's that like as a player? Is that obviously he's trying to teach you something, but can it be tough too because you want to obviously stay out there? It's just a teaching moment. You know, you mess up. Uh, it's how you train. Just how you train uh, to become a better player. You know, if you mess up, it takes you out. You know, you don't think about what you did. Come back in and fix it. 
Uh, yeah. Last year, the the Notre Dame game, not that you were uh, in the game, but do you remember like any big like emotional swings, emotional moments in that game? <laughs> I mean, obviously the game winner. That was pretty yeah. crazy. First college game winner I've seen. But um, nah, you know, the fans last year were great when they came out. Um, hopefully it's a good game when we go over there. We want to get the win, and that's all I'm worried about. Where have you seen seniors like Alex and Prince kind of step up and lead the team, whether it's in practice or during games? Prince really keeps me level. You know, I can't speak personally about Prince. He keeps me level. You know, if I mess up, get a turnover in practice, he's always the right next to me. Just, you know, keep your head up, get the next one, just being mature about it. On to the next play type of, type of player. You guys are struggling as a team from, you're, you're actually shooting pretty well, but as a team from three point range, is that just, coach said that uh, maybe some of the shot selection, what are some of the things you guys can do to, to get that number up? Um, just be more confident when we shoot it, you know, uh, try to get more kick outs, try to get people in more open shots, maybe less threes off the dribble, but it's really just shooting it with more confidence. You know, we should get up threes in practice, so it's really just us not hitting them. Is there, is there a focus to try to get um, <clears throat> more outside shots or get the ball inside, or is it just, does coach emphasize just trying to look for the best uh, shot selection? I mean, the focus is just when, whether we hit a lot of threes one game or we're killing it inside. We're only worried about winning and what the other, what the opponent gives us. We're just gonna take what they give us. How was it to have uh, big guys like uh, Jalen and Cody in there? You know, occasionally score, scoring uh, twenty points. It's amazing. Those guys are crazy in there. You know, um, they're just big in there. You know, it's just good having big men like that on my team. And you know? it really just opens the court because you got to worry about them. And that's what gives me open shots sometimes. Thanks, Tyre. Thanks, appreciate it.